one of the requirements for qualifying for hedge accounting is that hedges have to be documented. And as I said before, the original standard had that documentation, that set of requirements uh, that were very explicit. In some cases, they were quite difficult to implement. So the new standard took a lot of the sting out of it. They made it easier to satisfy the requirements. And a big aspect of that was the requirements relating to hedge effectiveness assessments. The standard requires that if you're going to qualify for hedge accounting, you have to validate to the satisfaction of your auditors that the hedge is going to be prospectively highly effective. And after the fact, you have to evaluate it and demonstrate that, in, in fact, it was highly effective. Uh, and for the most part, those tests had to be, or were, were typically, or in, in many cases, were quantitative in nature. So FASB simplified this by listing criteria that, if satisfied, would allow you to simply say, we've met these criteria and we can dispense with quantitative tests after the first time. Um, so that's been a, a, a very important um, requirement that's just been lifted from people. Do it once, and then if the facts and circumstances don't change, you're good to go on an ongoing basis.